Today I am going to show you how to make a Mod Podge napkin sign using specially printed napkins from Christian Craft Paper. Hi, I'm Liberty from Before and Afters and I'm looking forward to showing you this project. I was so excited to discover this company. Melanie from Christian Craft Paper sent me one of their kits to try and I'm going to tell you all about it. To start off, you do not have to order a kit. You can just go to their website and order anything they have available. But what makes them special is they offer two different monthly clubs that you can join. One club includes only the napkins for that month, but the other club includes a project along with everything you need to make the project, except things like a hot glue gun, scissors, stuff like that. Their napkins are specially designed and printed in the USA, which I absolutely love. And they are scripture verses as well as a hymn. So I play the piano and I love hymns. So these kind of crafts are right down my alley. I was so excited to see the colors of the napkins that I received, as well as several other little extra papers and things thrown in. Christian Craft Paper always makes a full tutorial video that you can follow to make their project, but you don't have to use the materials to make their project. You can make your own. So as you can probably guess, I'm going to make my very own sign in a completely different way than theirs. They do send two of each napkin and they are very good quality. So I have an extra napkin to use for a different project. I am always saving pretty paper plates and pretty napkins. So I just love this. Are three ply napkins so be sure to get both layers off before you use the top. I am using a scrap piece of beadboard for the back of my sign so I wanted a long tall sign and I laid out the napkins how I thought they would look nice Somebody also gave me a bunch of lace, so I thought it would look nice to make a border around my sign. Be sure to read the blog post for more details. That link will be in the description below. So this is a Mod Podge craft and the fancy name for applying something with Mod Podge is called Decoupage. It looks easy to do, but it can be a little tricky. So if you've never done this before, I would recommend trying it with a napkin from your table and a scrap piece of wood somewhere. Then you won't make mistakes, hopefully, on this really pretty napkin. Melanie from Christian Craft Paper does a really good job in her videos showing you special tricks and techniques to smooth the napkin over and get it flat without wrinkles. But the nature of it, it just tends to wrinkle as it dries, I think. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you have done decoupage before. I'd love to know if you like it, if it's easy for you or not. I can guarantee that doing it with two hands is a lot easier than doing it with one hand while you are videoing it. <laughs> it did go rather quickly making this sign. I think the whole thing took me a little over an hour and that was with videoing and taking pictures. So it is a fairly quick craft to accomplish. You do need to apply the Mod Podge underneath the napkin and you want to get it wet under every little bit before you lay it down. 
and you might have to lift up the edges and add some more wet underneath if you missed some spots. Then you must let it dry completely before you add another layer of Mod Podge on top of the napkin. I think the first thing I ever used Mod Podge for was to glue a puzzle together after I had put it together. And I probably used the gloss Mod Podge. This bottle is matte, so it's not gonna be shiny. For the blue ribbon between the napkins, I glued a little dot and folded it over, and then I glued another hot glue dot to fold it over again so that the cut edge would not fray. I used supplies that I already had in my craft room to make this sign, and this is before I added the top layer of Mod Podge. That verse right there is part of the tissue paper, and you can use tissue paper as well. You can even use photos or magazines or almost any paper you can Mod Podge. It doesn't have to be a napkin. I love these colors so much. I might have to order some extra napkins. I think this was January's kit, but they do send out seasonal things like Christmas and fall and Easter. I imagine the Easter one is probably pretty special. So here is my Mod Podge napkin sign hanging in my kitchen. Let me know if you liked this project and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Have a great day.